Sanjay Lola Pinjura Sanji Rabba Sho Sanji Chodan Soji Chonam La Sanja Bada Dana Chasam Che Daku Chishi Chibi Sonam Ji Lola Pinjura Sanji Rabba Sho Okay. Good morning again, everyone. All of you hear me? Good morning. Everyone have some tea or coffee, breakfast, McDonald's or Donkey Donut. <laughs> Make sure you have some coffee, tea, water. Oh, Bob, you have dog. Yeah, she came in today. <laughs> Was that new? No, usually she stays downstairs. My wife was working, so she came upstairs. See, she, she wanted someone to, you know, pay attention. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Anyway, it's uh, wonderful to uh, able to see, as I mentioned before, you know, it's uh, more than you know, that. Sometimes we say, okay, that teacher said that, or that teacher said that, or Rinpoche said that, his holiness said that, you know, the Kadamba master said that, then, you know, the, we just lack history. We all have you know, knowledge. You know, we just learn, then put a note, then just leave the, the book. Uh, we don't really put into practice. Then when we have some situation, then the practice uh, and meditation or whatever you learn, it doesn't work. <laughs> right? Then they say, oh, who can I talk? Uh, where I can go? Who can fix my problems? <laughs> like this, you know, we have so many things to come in like that way. Uh, Therefore, the like example, as I mentioned always, you know, in order to practice, we need to learn, of course, the Lama Tsongkhapa said, Tambo Yachin Tuba Mantra. First, you have to hear many times, many ways, not just one time. The part the Shonlu Tamsu Dumban that then how you do that and the letter meditation because that because that not someone said we have to follow the blonde faith it's not like that we need to and letter meditation this is the you know very particular and you know, a Tibetan or maybe maybe not say Tibetan as a Buddhism philosophy. Buddha give for all of us to love permission. Therefore, first you hear, we study. The secondly, you have to investigation the object or idea. The third, Tama Nyamse Kandu Nyamsalo. Then you practice. Then you practice to do the action. As an example, like you need to like to the big party, you know, you advise for your all the friends, but right now the pandemic, we're not able to do that. <laughs> that you know, in order to we need to big even a big you know party. First, we have to go to shopping, bring things, put in the kitchen, then you can chop cook, whatever you have to do, do that. Then put on the plate, 
Then you need to also another action to put into your mouth. Then you feel, you know, you, know, you get the blessing or no, 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 you get, you get the, you know, the, how say, the result and the food. You feel, oh, I, I eat too much. I feel too full. <laughs> This start to start to soften. This is called sophie of change. Because this is in a very good, but this is a Buddhism say this is a softening of the change. You eat too much, then you have a lot of alcohol, then you throw up. <laughs> you pay lots of money to buy most expensive, then you eat. Then you eat, then we drink a lot of alcohol, then throw up, just rest. <laughs> This is, you know, we think this is a perfect practice, you know, perfect, pra you know, party. But uh, usually there's uh, Buddhism, Buddha said, this is a softening. If you really, it's a happiness, how many times or how much you, you know, do the action or do with the deal with them, you get more and more happy, but it will come change. Like that, anyway. Therefore, first study, second investigation, you know, uh, analytical meditation, then third concentration, then put into practice. This is for very important to our daily practice. Okay, are you guys ready? <laughs> yes, no. Good, good, good. Looks good. Looks everyone's very exciting. Yeah, yeah. Now my English is finished. Okay. If that's if someone can have some donation from some e English, <laughs> I can accept that. <laughs> ah, ah. Maybe Ed, can you give me some e English? <laughs> I could. Your English is wonderful, Gashalem. <laughs> Thank you. Give me more courage for my English. It is. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, don't you hear? Oh, yeah. He's here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the Kadamba masters, <clears throat> you know, when they wake up in the morning, they used to, they check their, you know, themselves, you know, whether they are able to move, whether they can open their eyes, whether that they can, you know, move their limbs, you know, here and there, and they say, "Oh yeah, so I'm still alive." <laughs> no, that's very good. I'm so fortunate that I'm still alive, and so uh, <clears throat> so this time that I'm alive, uh, for the rest of the day, I'm going to spend really well uh, doing the Dharma practice. And so that's that's how they set up their motivation from early in the morning. <laughs> So motivation is very important, you know, not only in Dharma practice, but in the secular uh, work also is very important. Uh, it's like if you have the motivation, if you are motivated, then, you know, it will be easy for you to do. And uh, if you are forced, you know, to do uh, by somebody, then you know you don't really do it well. But if you are motivated to do, then you do it really well. You know, so having motivation at the beginning for any kind of task is very important. I'm the one of the lucky person. There's some good is. There's some no Suzu Sembra. So think about the fact, you know, that <coughs> you know, now, especially now at this time because of the <coughs> pandemic, 
you know, like even in America, you know, every day thousands of people are dying, right? And but among them, you know, we are the one a lucky one, you know, very fortunate one to be still alive. So just thinking about the fact you know, that so many people are dying yet you are still alive, you know, it's very fortunate. And so, <clears throat> so this is the kindness you know, uh, on, uh, of the three jewels that I'm you know, uh, still alive uh, by, uh, because of the good karma which was uh, instructed to do by the three jewels. You know? so, so from now on, I will follow the instructions of the three jewels just like they have taught. So, God blessing you said that Tangaji did Kakaris. And he called number so So, you know, in our case, uh, <clears throat> it's a little bit different from like Christianity, you know, where they talk about God creating everything. Um, you know, if the if they're happy, that's created by God. If they're suffering, that's also created by God. Uh, and so, <clears throat> so in our case, it's not like that, you know. It's not an everything created by God. <clears throat> so in Buddhism, we don't you know, uh, believe that it's created by you know, three jewels, but it's through the kindness of the three jewels that we're experiencing you know, that happiness and so forth. Um, so I'm not saying that you know, other religions are wrong, but you know, um, it, is, it is helpful for many people uh, because there are so many different kinds of people with the different uh, mentalities, different interests, right? Aspirations. So for some people, it's really beneficial. So, like, so of course, it's very good you know, for those people. Oh, Cheta, Dangandu Kare, and then Sanjig and Lamdena, Naru, Narasu, Lamte, Yamtana Balatene, and then Gadan the Deji, Shumare, somebody that calls some Kacha. And so, in our case, uh, we were uh, advised by Buddha, you know, three jewels of Buddha. And to do good actions uh, and to not to do bad actions and so forth. So, so by doing that, by following their advice, uh, you know, I've been able to uh, have happiness and so forth. So therefore, whatever happiness I'm experiencing is uh, through their kindness, like that. So now we're going to do the meditation that we've been doing uh, every you know, every Sunday morning, right? For about 15 minutes. So that that gomja we call on, nega chesho de kare de na, ani susu go kare. Uh, so the, the biggest thing you know, to control uh, at the time when you're doing meditation you know, is uh, to control um, the mental excitement and mental thinking. <laughs> And so to remember <clears throat> that, uh, you know, remembering, you know, uh, remembering that one is not falling into the, um, uh, under the, you know, the mental excitement and mental thinking. So mental excitement is the distraction. You think all kinds of thoughts come in your mind and you get distracted. That's mental excitement. And, and mental thinking is like a lethargy, you know, you're feeling very you know, down or sleepy and, and you couldn't think anything, you know, like that. So those two are very you know, important uh, to uh, recognize. You know? So when you, so that's recognized by the mindfulness. You know? So remember that with the mindfulness, so, oh yeah, it's uh, you know, mental excitement or mental thinking. And so recognize that with the mindfulness and then bring back, you know, so, oh yeah, I should not be distracted. I should not be you know, feeling lazy or like that. So you bring back, you know, so that has to be remembered by mindfulness. So the, the, so, the, so the other important thing is that, you know, to have a mindfulness that remembers what's happening. 
Eda pecha jina ta ngara so le tambo ba gom tambo jange do tanda ta suku srebe supena ari sinji patru ba kala ya suku so to pa ta tu tu jin de gmdo a ko subo de na mikta kanju mta de do de ro go gela and so like you know we should be watching our mind all the time just like you know the security guard like the like the president security guard to the president you know they they they, will, they cannot afford to get distracted all oh, they should be watching all the time you know who's coming what's happening where's the president so going the all that all the time they have to follow that you know so so yeah our mind has to be very alert uh, uh you know like that just like the security guard and tanda le tambo de ta sani gom ya bo jab sani de cha de ta go mari ya tu kadina te ko ta de na ya ne gre de so yeah so you have to you know um, keep on watching right especially for the beginners right? at the beginning you know our mind gets very easily distracted so we have to watch our mind uh we have to you know <clears throat> keep on watching but later as we get used to it then you don't have to watch it you, know? you you get you know you you know, you get less and less distracted you're going to have to watch it at that time if you spend watching then that is not good so not very good either you know and because your time your your you know <clears throat> um, spending time on doing that and not you know spending time on doing the meditation watch or to chat then nega chiju jere then gom te kadi na tuju kadi so na gom chata ta ngam to shine gom be kala kadi na shoke gom da ni ko kadi gom ba na mi pachi ra mi go re te jo ja ga yo ma te jam na shine ndu kumare and then other important thing is to keep one object all the time you know whether you're meditating in the morning afternoon or evening all the time keep one object never change the object if you change then it will be difficult to develop that uh, concentration on the object especially in, at, at the time when you're doing uh, meditation on calm abiding da tena la yanga so pa se mambo in do da ya tu ko ya tu ko on to the gombo re and then don't force yourself to do you know meditation for a long time maybe maybe 5 minutes a day or 10 minutes or 15 minutes even among that time you know even within that time uh of 5 minutes you, know, you might get distracted you know so many times but most important like i said earlier to recognize that and then to bring it back in the object ote negative ta 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 ngara so gom jebe kala shine gom na ngam to tsoa ke leg mar chudo leg de ke ke leg mar so right now at the beginning you know it is uh, we're making so much effort and you know, we need to make so much effort to focus on the object so you don't get that you don't get any feelings do you get any feeling when you're meditating on calm abiding ta lem na ya wada pa ji leg mar yem ba yen na ya ko yerimbo chene gomda yana kale 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 semna nyo the me gore ani ngam so ngone tro de nyegre so like the feeling of peacefulness you know like very calm and peacefulness like that at the beginning is difficult because our mind is so distracted and we have to make so much effort to bring it back and focus and so forth so it's difficult to find that peacefulness feeling but you know uh, but if you find it that's really good uh, but anyway if you keep on meditating you know for a long time then you will get that feeling e cha da wa sena ngara so ta chu so da wa la ye ye ro ngara so ja ga to do ni na do na so ja wa jang bon bo cho so chu na be kala ta mi to ta mum te ni re ni to so cha ko ye cha cha so be kala ha ya che bo te ni na la ha ya pa ji ngara so kan ba chu to re te ni na la ya cha ko re me chu chu ji pa sha ni ko ta bo che ta mo re da me chu chu de pa sha ni ko ye ni bo kale 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 ta wo ni chu de ya che 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 yo de ani ta mo ni chu ko ba la do re te ti chi ba do yo ko che da tambo me ban na kosha cheto ma da kale 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 ko ni badle ngo dos te do ulta so yeah so as you more you meditate you know and then uh, more stable you will become more peaceful you will find you know so uh, but it takes time it you know, it may take a really long time you know and um, you know just like um the boiling water you know, on a pot you know if you keep on watching it seems like it's taking very long time but if you just set the fire on then it will eventually boil you know like like during the time when his son is uh, gives teaching in india there will be like thousands you know uh, ten thousands of monks you know attending the teaching and then people will sponsor and offer tea you know tea you know, offer so you imagine how much tea you have to make you know to offer a cup of tea to each monk you know like thousand ten thousands of monks and um, and then the 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 pot you know the cauldron pot you know the way they make the tea is so huge 
It's like, you know, it's like as room as big as, a, you know, like an eight by eight room, you know, like that, so big, you know, so there's so many people can fit in there. And, but they have, they set a fire on, on, the, on, on the oven and then, and then they, you know, slow, they, you know, slowly, 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 it, even the whole big pot of water, you know, comes to boil like that. So it takes time, but if you keep on doing it, doing, doing, it, then it will slowly, slowly you'll get it. Oh yeah, that is my mumbo shumu or che. Tangazo and this in a gomen go to in that. Oh yeah, no, going to talk too much now. We're going to start the calm abiding meditation now, okay? That day, my own Nelaya, I'm going to boom jumu gongo. Boom jumu de Koran Konate, Koran Nipa, Musek, Tomo, my be changing your mother, somebody laying or cheddar. And before that, we're going to do meditation on the breath. And so the taking breath, you know, like inhaling and exhaling breath, uh, following that. And that's, it says, it, like focusing on the breath itself, you know, has some special power you know, because of the, the breath you know, uh, that carries our mind. So just concentrate on your breath, right? Just concentrate, 100% concentrate on your breath. You know, it means like not thinking anything, just thinking about the breath is to inhale. So your mind follows things that I'm inhaling. When you exhale, and your mind thinks that I'm exhaling. So your mind's following the, um, <clears throat> the breath you know, as you inhale or exhale. And so when you inhale, you know, imagine the whole body is filled with the uh, air. And then when you exhale, the body, whole body is completely empty of all the air. So it's like completely gone out and then kind of like, like that. So just think about uh, the breath only. You know? So don't try to, uh, stop your mind from thinking about oh, something else. You don't have to stop. You know, when you're uh, focused 100% on the breath, then nothing else will come on your mind. You know? So, how strong your concentration is, you know, that depend it depends on that. You know, whether other thoughts will come or not. If your mind is not strong on that that thought, then other thoughts can come in. But if your mind is strong on that object, then other you know will have no place to come in. Okay, so now we're going to do the meditation. The first rain, you can you know, do meditation on the breath. And then on the second rain, then we're going, to, we're going to do the meditation on calm abiding. So here you're going to focus on your calm abiding object, uh, whatever object um, that you have choose, but you know, recommended to have, uh, to look you know, to choose the Buddha statue or image of the Buddha. And so <clears throat> right above you know, at the level of your forehead, and um, imagine uh, Buddha's uh, uh, statue or picture, you know, that's, um, uh, so, <clears throat> and then try to hold that um, an object, you know, as um, you know, uh, long as possible. If you, but if you lose it, then, you know, uh, just uh, recognize it, you know, with your, uh, you know, mindfulness. And uh, of course, you're going, be, you're going to be watching, you know, with your introspection, uh, what the mind is doing, whether it's focused on that or not. So you need that. And so if it goes away, then bring it back. If your mind becomes lazy, then, then like kind of and alert yourself and then bring it, bring back your mind you know, to uh, concentrate you know, on the object. So the object, you can visualize like you know, the statue or the image, you know, uh, a picture of the Buddha, uh, just like um, you know, made of light, but it's like a weighty, weighted um, uh, so, that, that, so that it doesn't like, you know, 
uh, swing here and there, just stays in one place. And so you can focus you know, better. And uh, first, maybe you can just start you know, with the face, if you if it's more comfortable, just the face part only. And then as you, it becomes more clear, then you can you know, expand you know, to the whole body. But maybe at the beginning, you can just, you know, <coughs> this part only. Can only can the face card part can be the clear. And yeah, so just you know, uh, hold on that one object as you know, long as possible. But if, like I said, if it you know, goes away, then just remember to bring it back. Okay. Everyone ready?
Okay. Father, do you got Philip? I heard someone's snorey. <laughs> My dog was snoring. Really? <laughs> this is really comfortable. Good, good, good. Okay. This is how to meditation. Uh, Talk to always. This is, you don't have to do any time. You can do any time, anywhere, you know, where you, but make sure not meditation where you're driving and you're walking off with. <laughs> Otherwise, you do the meditation you're off with, and then your boss you know, cut you the, your <laughs> layout. <laughs> I heard some people say, I'm going to. You know, they do the prayer in the workplace, then boss uh, catch that, oh, I'm doing pray. This is uh, because you pray makes other people unhappy, it's not good. Therefore, always very skillful, you can do any place. Oh, the chita, did you let them also cousin love young in Yamadan Ma, young and so touch, come to you, Jagina. So again, we're going to do a little bit of meditation on the mind training and the studies that we've been doing. Roger, Chetanga and Tanak Desag Kamba and Lega Kanga, Kaji, Shembalate, the other Shembas and the Kari Chimbore, somebody not they call Rupakan Trip the Orbo. Then <clears throat> think about you know, on self and all sentient beings are same in wanting to be happy and not wanting any sufferings. And, um, <clears throat> and think about their kindness. You know? So everything that we have now is by the kindness of other sentient beings. Without them, we can't function, we can't do anything, we can't achieve anything. So everything that we have now is by the kindness of others. And I should think like that. Like for example, <clears throat> you know, if you don't have a neighbor, you know, you'll be so bored by yourself, right? You have no activities to do, no but nobody to talk to or look at look at and you know enjoy and so forth. So you don't have even that, you know, depends on others. So like that, everything without others, nothing you know can be achieved. You can't have anything without others. So all, everything that we have now uh, or we will have in the future is all by the kindness of others. Like thinking like that, then think about others' kindness. Pechashana namjung araso sozun chupa jasa sozun nami pinja lega jita tsoreina. Tenzo menang aso tenzo shanang aso dotok yomare. So actually, you know, um, uh, people that we get into fight with, you know, are our close friends, right? You know, people we, we live with in our families, our people we work with, our co-workers and people who live around and our neighbors like that, right? So, but we can't live, we can't leave them either, right? We can't, you know, just leave them and go somewhere else either. Chezang, nimba nga 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 getu jere. And the Quran, the Quran ga jemi ni nchuba shushok doa kanji. Ko kadi na jemi la kanji, ジャナチンドマザニンドマザチカディンチュバジャデドアニコンチュバモショウドコニエニガラカルチャウズタチュバジャラジャマデスアニコガネデレタヤタピチャユレスカディナチョンギチャンチョンギショウタンジャンタナ
then you know you will not you know get into fight. Um, so when you see the good one, good things, you know you don't think about the bad things. So when you see the bad things, then you don't think about the good things. You know, so just like that. When you think about the good things, then you will not think about bad things, and you will not get into a fight. So, like that. <clears throat> but you know, later they got you know separated. They 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 were divorced. You know, they they divorced. You know, and I, so actually, I told him, you know, so to look at the good side, you know, of her, and so that you will be, you know, you you will not, you know, um, uh, think about fighting with her, like just like when you first met her, you might you you are, you are very attracted to her. You got attracted. You you know you fell in love, and then you got married. And so at that time, you didn't see any bad qualities, right? Anything bad. You only saw the good because you were only looking at the good. So just like that, think about that. But, you know, he didn't and they got divorced. And so later he came, he said, you know, by himself, he was so bored and, you know, he felt very lonely and suffering. And so he came to say, you know, so, oh, I, it was so bad that I didn't listen to you. I should have, like, looked in at her good qualities and tried to be nice with her and stay, but I didn't do but anyway, anyway, it was too late. So like that, you know, if you look at the you know good good qualities, then you always you know see the good qualities. You know? But if you look at the bad, then you only see the bad. And then Namjung Arazu Susu Sandajing Sochari, Susu Tawashi. Then they go rest, they might not know they are Susu Chick Sarab Chesar, Chesa teaching Joe Jagamundo, Teng and Zupe Nodure. Some don't tell one tada re and them the tell a touch and Joe Jagodo. And, and and of course it's because of our wrong uh, notion you know about the things right so um so thinking that oh this should be like that and they should be like that and then then sticking with that thought that that is the right thought that's the right thing you know? and um and because of that and then we get into a fight you know it says oh it has to be like this and if it's not like that then we get angry you know? but you know we can see you know, oh yeah it doesn't have to be like that it can be that way also you know so in either way you know like you can uh, think you know so uh, because of that our strong opinion you know a wrong view of opinion thinking that this is how it is and this is how it should be and then we get into a fight and then other thing is not trusting each other. So if you have uh, another trust in each other, then there will be much less you know, problems. And then example is if you and your husband or your wife always like complain each other, fight each other. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> because we don't accept each other's so what they say, right? It, mean, it means it's a, you can say, oh, I trust my wife, my husband, but mm -hmm. Because you doesn't accept what he or she said, it shows you are not accept that. You not trust that. Example, a very good example, special the Westerns. <laughs> like Western people have very strong trust the lawyer and doctor. It's good. I'm not saying that's bad, right? The doctor says something to you. You you know how is that family? How is that family doctor? Is it correct? Primary? No, your primary doctor. He or she says something, you say, okay, my daughter that you just be followed. It's good. I'm not so bad. Because you are not excuse, you just follow that. Then you have something issue, you're not you're not able to fix yourself, then you just call the lawyer. My lawyer can do that. Then because you trust that you are not excuse them. Exactly like that. You really, we say, oh, I trust my wife, I love her, and I trust my husband, I love her, my sister, my brother, but we always have complain each other. It shows you not really trust. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. <laughs> Don't even check, okay? I'm not saying criticize, just, just like behind our mind. Oh, my wife said that it's not really this way, like that way. My husband said, oh, no, like that way. It's like that way, you know, you have something behind our, our mind. Okay, like that. Therefore, anyway, the, my main message is oh, who we going to uh, complain each other? Husband, wife, family, friends, boyfriend, girlfriend, neighbors, co-workers. But those are the most kindest person for us. Therefore, we say, okay, I have to do something for them. What? I cannot do, go to physically do everything for them. Now, as we are Buddhism, we pray for them. Therefore, I have to do something to 
benefit for all them to I'm going to pray. O tu chene tene sam ne ta tene yongala ani tanda sanje suzu go sanje chom den den kanjer ko tene gumi wa tene ko dele ta so ta go re sanga de nyamne yapo yong pena yena de nyamne yapo yong chet ta nge nga shinje labdo suru nge li shinje labdo suru ani nge karo ye shinje labdo suru se kanje tene ge semje ja pege ani lojong nyamne chek go de lojong yapo yong ge chet de nge linga ye sem shinje labdo na se Ode Suzuko son of Sosaya, King of Pashi Shetty, the Samatango Yoimbre. And so, in order to be able to do your practice well, for your practice to be you know, successful, you should pray <clears throat> to the, uh, the Guru Buddhas or three jewels. You know, so, please bless my mind, please bless my speech, please bless my body, you know, to be able to do these practices properly to benefit all sentient beings and to do the practicing of the seven limbs. And then, you know, for the preparatory practice, you, know, you have to um, you know, contemplate and you know, meditate you know, on the property of rebirth, death and impermanence, karmic law, cause and effect, the disadvantage of the cycle of existence, and so forth. And then comes the actual practice you know, of uh, training in the bodhicitta. There are two uh, bodhicittas to train in, uh, the ultimate bodhicitta and uh, uh, conventional bodhicitta to train in. ตาตันเปจานาสมาติโตอันนี้คุณโซชาเจเกสมยานตาเดตาเดเดดาเจญัมเจกุนเนสมยานตาโซสงเกตาเตเลมังกันโซอันนี้ตอมบอตอมบอ
uh, when your mind, you know, gets moved, you know, to uh, work for the benefit of sentient beings, that means, you know, you are coming close to having generated bodhicitta. You are tendigi and the Mengaj and the Jawala and the Yuku Tipi, Nuachava, the Jela Chavana, Sancho Sam Kiva, it's a Pesharangan. Yeah, so that has to come. That that move, you know, meant uh, of your mind towards uh, benefiting sentient being has to come through the practice of uh, the sevenfold cause effect instruction or equalizing and exchanging self with others. And so when you have that, then that, you know, uh, you know shows the sign of bodhicitta. So that's what it said in the text itself. <laughs> So just um, just like you know you um, <clears throat> get a strong feeling when you see um, injured an injured um, animal you know, on the on the roadside like if you see a squirrel or bird or you know, something that's uh, very badly injured like broken leg or you know, run over by a car something like that you know very very strong you, know, strong, you get very strong feeling right strong compassion for that so that's the kind of you know, feeling you should get towards all sentient beings so that's the training in bodhicitta, right? It's training you know, to generate the bodhicitta. And then after that, you know, and then after that is the converting you know, all the uh, unfortunate or adverse conditions you know, into a path to enlightenment. And so whatever difficulties or sufferings that you experience or face, uh, not being, you know, not feeling down by that, but instead, you know, taking that condition you know, into a path you know, to achieve enlightenment. And then in, in between that, then you have to you know, think about uh, the ultimate bodhicitta. We forgot, you know, we, we, we left that out. And out. <laughs> And so the bodhicitta, I mean, the ultimate bodhicitta uh, is, uh, is actually a, uh, a wisdom derives in emptiness within the continuum of Arya Bodhisattva. And so these two bodhicitta are the, the source you know, of all the happinesses you know, of oneself and others. And so it is said that Buddhas, you know, saw this bodhicitta to be the most benefit, you know, after, uh, after doing contemplation for eons, you know, so they did a contemplation and meditation for eons, and found that the bodhicitta is the most beneficial. So what is the bodhicitta? In, in, in short, you can say the altruism, you know, the altruistic attitude that you know uh, wishes to benefit others. <clears throat> so the you, you first you meditate and you know, on Chanju Sem is very good. That is Chanju Sem. Some of the people that Tama Gumbana is Chanju Sem, you have to compare to each other and it didn't get some of the any Susu in Yelata. Then any Susu Parmalata, Tama Penta Dala in Manata, and then Tami Tama de Sem Jetama Lata Chiba Yuma Peng Yoto. So that kind of uh, the altruism. Um, altruistic attitude, um, you should have, you know, you should develop that first you know, towards your um, close ones mm -hmm. and then to the, the people in the middle and then at the end, you know, to the enemies also. Okay, teach. Oh, gee, that and digging shanty of the language of the day and the Kundu shanty was him. That don't do shanty was him, said he. That's Suzuki Pena, uh, Jamanimba, 
아니 zoom 담 그러고 zoom 담 모아 저 암조라 미션 바 간지 지기 담 년다 간지 투와나 투조야 수수 사마 나진지 요 말에 수수 판 토와나지 조요 말에 좀 가지 라지 말다 따고 그래 다데 산지고 셈세들이 봐 and then um, uh, for the ultimate bodhicitta so whatever you know you hear or whatever sound you hear or bad sounds you hear or whatever bad forms you see uh, you always should think that these things do not exist in a way they appear to me so for example like um, when when somebody says you are wrong then you get hurt right but if somebody says you you don't get hurt if somebody says wrong you don't get hurt but when somebody says you are wrong two together then you get hurt you know so that shows that you by itself doesn't hurt wrong it by itself doesn't hurt but when they are together, dependent on each other, then it hurts. So everything is dependent rising like that. What a tig and nega dago, cheza, a caro, and a shun juna like you was. Niella and the da tamjuna, two sharp tender songs. Shunju lega tambo niba samba showing our songs about the carriage at the retina. Any same gin ne look, mubu ne look, shinjamala, but toy teach it to somebody else from the war. And so, <clears throat> so like I said, in the Guide to the Buddhist Way of Life, uh, you know, Buddha taught all these branches um, uh, to, in order to understand the wisdom. You know? So like, at the end, it talks about the wisdom chapters. So before that, it all talks about the other chapters, like general stimulality and so forth. So all these branches are taught, taught you know, in order to develop you know, the, uh, the wisdom. So, uh, so, so just like I said, you know, it's, it's, uh, in a developing you know, wisdom is very important. Okay. And so like that, you have to meditate on emptiness now. So it's very important. So just like you read in the Heart Sutra, says there's no form, no feeling, no discrimination, and so forth, right? And so, so there's nothing, you know, that exists from its own side or inherently. And so like um, when you said no form, you know, the form that we see, right, the form, you know, the, the object and the, the visual object and the form that we see uh, by seeing it, you know, by seeing the uh, attractive object and you know, we get attachment developed in our mind and by seeing ugly you know, uh, or uh, unattractive um, an object, you know, uh, we develop uh, hatred in our mind, right? And then um, same with the, you know, the sound, you know, by hearing a beautiful or pleasant sound, you get attachment. And um, by hearing unpleasant sound, you get aversion. And so, and then same with the smell, right? So the good smells, you move your nose towards it. But if it's a bad smell, you cover your nose and turn away from it, right? And so it's the same thing. And then same with the taste. If it's a tasty, uh, in a delicious food, then we want to you know, experience it. We want to, we are attached to it. And then we want to eat it every day. How oh, you want to eat it? I want to eat today. I want to eat tomorrow. I want to eat that tomorrow. Like that all the time you want to eat it. But if it's a, you know, awful tasting, then uh, you say, oh, this is so bad, you know, so then you turn away from it and you get aversion towards it. Like the example, I'm the tupa, you know, tupa, the Tibetan called tupa, right? Tupa, mm -hmm. the noodle soup. <laughs> I usually eat always noodle soup. Even I go to a restaurant, I eat noodle soup. 
at one time, maybe the Deborah knows, you know, Jeff, 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 Jeff is the red. We cook when Geshe last year, always at dinner, we cook the tupa. At one time, we went to out some Chinese restaurant. Again, I ordered the tupa <laughs> noodle. Then he said, Kishila, why you got to order the tupa? <laughs> you have to eat outside. <laughs> Like the my personality, you know, I like the tupa always, right? Like the people have the different culture, have the different food. They always like eat same things, so, you know. Sometimes Western say, I'm bored. I eat all the time same thing. <laughs> but sometimes, like Tibetan tradition, they like to eat always like same thing. At the old time, I don't know right now. What is it? Yes, I'm not. That's what I'm going to do. How many? Oh. <laughs> And so all these you know, things that we feel ugly or you know, uh, attractive or tasty or untasty and all these things is all um, you know, how they appear to us, you know. It's not really truly like that on their side, right? So if it is tasty to me, then it has to, be, if it is really tasty from its own side, then it has to be tasty to everybody. So like in your case, you might not be able to stand to eat noodles all the day, every day, right? But I can, you know, so that's like different, you know? So, so it depends like that. So that, therefore, we should think that everything that appear to me do not exist in a way they appear to me. <laughs> So, uh, what is the importance of understanding that? You know, so even though there's no form exists from its one side, even though there's no sun exists from its one side, but what does it matter? You know, what is the you know, benefit of understanding that? Mm. So like I said in this you know, uh, package, you know, I have wrapped uh, a piece of gold inside this package. What will you say? You might not believe it. You say, oh no, I don't think Geshla has a gold. <laughs> But but if you don't you know if you don't know then you you might have you might say oh okay so there is a gold you know you have this thought idea in your mind thinking that there is a gold inside that package. So maybe uh, <clears throat> maybe it's a little bit difficult to believe that I have a gold. Right? <laughs> so maybe let's say I have a chocolate in this package. So you might you can you can believe that, right? So you have this strong belief thinking that there's a chocolate inside this package. So whenever you see this package, you, know, you always think that oh, there is a chocolate wrapped inside that package. And so I said, there's a chocolate inside this, and then I give it to you. So each of you, I give you. But I said, don't open it right here. Go back to your home, and then you open there. You <clears throat> and unwrap that package at that and enter home. And then all the way, you know, from here, from the time you got into your hand, all the way back to your house, you'll be thinking that there is a chocolate, there is a chocolate, there is a chocolate, right? Cheda Michi Chole Yomalana, Yoyo Gishalanga Chole, Gishala Mavisha Marsa, Chanos Yichi, one that could Yichi Taranach and some Drogo, you're a second over. And on the way, even if somebody says there's no chocolate, you wouldn't believe it. Says, no, Geshla said there's a chocolate, and Geshla doesn't lie. I, I trust you. <laughs> so <laughs> there is a chocolate. There is a chocolate. Your mind is always grasping at that part. There is a chocolate. And then if you lost that package, then you might even think, oh, that was given by Geshe and it was really precious. 
and I was given by Geshla and for like, you know, Buddhist and you know, devotional people who think, you know, like someone is given by Geshla, you know, it's a, it's a bless, blessing and uh, precious. So, so that's, that's, oh, that was so precious. And I lost that. So it was so bad like that. You know? So that, that, you know, uh, came about because of your strong grasping, you know, uh, thinking that there's a chocolate inside there. And I was given by Geshe Lai, you know, the devotional people who think, you know, like someone is given by Geshe Lai, you know, it's a blessing and blessing. So that, that, you know, uh, came about because of your strong grasping, you know, uh, thinking that there's a chocolate inside there. And then you go home and then you unwrap it and then you found, oh, it's just a candy. There was no chocolate, it's just a candy. And then, uh, so moment you see the candy, that's the reality. Moment you see the candy, then you're grasping, you know, at the, you know, at the, uh, at the chocolate, you know, it's gone, you know, completely gone. Oh, that the chikbajiang, anzu, zu, da, tro, ro, rejata, so, tinga, tumbanyi, te, sozola, nawa, naji, suzu, samba, naji, Mayimba Hakoyena and Zuda Tru Riala Tembe and it chadanzu. That tar medor. So you're grasping and the chocolate is gone completely, right? Uh, like just because you said, just like that. When you think, uh, when your mind understands that all oh, the the you know all this, you know, the forms and you know, the uh, sounds and smells and all these things do not exist when in a way they appear to me. If you when you understand that. Then your attachment to the pleasant sound and you know, aversion to the unpleasant sound and so forth will be gone completely. Tedudo, Cheta, Tusa, Cheta, Tomania, the Tobayana, Tandangas, or Chada, Mosum, Jede, you, the Nick Shiba, Kanga Korako, or Lando, Kana, Chada, Mosum, Chesa, Yeti, Ko, Shinjolon, Tonya Tobolo, Tinguines, Hako, Teda, Shinjolon, the Konga, Kanga Lado. And so, <clears throat> so just like that, when you realize emptiness, then and uh, all this uh, an attachment, anger, ignorance you know, will be gone. Because when you realize emptiness, you realize the reality, the actual mode of existence. Uh, but the delusions like attachment, anger, and ignorance, they are holding to the incorrect objects, right? So when you understand the correct object, then grasping at the incorrect object will be gone. So just like that, when you realize the emptiness, then all these delusions will be gone. So everything is like that, dependent arising. You know, so it has to depend on something. So um so either has to depend on the cause and conditions or depend on the name or depend on the parts and so forth. So something it has to depend on something. Without depending on any of these things, there's no solid thing existing from this one side. Okay. Okay. Therefore, there isn't <coughs> Um, um, uh, there isn't anything that is not dependent rising, and there isn't anything like that. There isn't anything that is not empty. So, because it is dependent rising, therefore it is empty. Because it is dependent rising, therefore it's, it's it is empty of independently existing. And so, it's empty, you know, because it's dependently existing, therefore it is empty, and it is empty of independently existing. So when you think about the emptiness, it also helps you know, to convert those uh, adverse conditions and, uh, into a path to enlightenment. Like when you face difficulties or problems and suffering, then at that time it says, "Oh, these all depend. This all come in dependence you know, on many causes and conditions. It's not just happening. We suffer uh, or you know we go through trauma. When we say, "Oh, what's happening this to me? Why you know this is happening only to me like that? You know, and oh because of this or that and you know, like that. When you think of that like that, but when you realize the reality, then 
it doesn't really you know uh, affect us you know, and then we can carry on you know, to our practice another example with the added to come you know i don't really really feel it someone your friend or your husband or wife boyfriend girlfriend someone complain you today we say oh she's wrong he's wrong he's doing it wrong what's going on with you we don't really think of what's going on with him he or she have so many things already have going then that show you that maybe angry for you <laughs> but we don't really think he's wrong i i have also my own problems here what's going on with you we just complete try to fight that if we really go go into the, the person's mind oh they have so many complicated today they have something wrong with their job something wrong there something wrong that the lot you know cause conditions we don't really think that way okay this is a hard to meditation and emptiness and uh, what benefit you really understand the reality of the nature then the mind the grasping the solid if you just go away okay because you see the reality in nature now we're going to a little bit meditation okay what can't form attack you right now or usually think that the moment that form is not exist and hardly tenji ki bana sukh de so so go nam jo sukh kare la ji chapa che ji yo wa na and the sukh da to re ja kare le chapa che na tenji ki chabe yer de so so no ata yo mare stat ji che mo she da tende de mo mo sono ta go da ta ta mo go ji so so no ana ji yo mare yo mare ma sama ji so so sa ma na ji na na ji yo mare sam sam to ta ra ka chan te gom jap sho wa tambo so so ka re ge so so la ya nam ji ma nyo da yo te sam ta ni da um so now i'm going to do a little bit of meditation on the emptiness okay are you ready so when you meditate on emptiness just think about any kind of thing any kind of object or any kind of you know incident that attracts you uh, or that you know uh haunts <coughs> you most you know and then that thing or that incident you know, doesn't exist in a way that appear to be and of course you can think about all other things dependent on origination uh, how it is dependent on rising and so forth but don't have to think all that just think at this time that incident or that an uh, object doesn't appear I mean, it doesn't exist in a way it appeared to me. Don't think it doesn't exist at all. It does exist, but it does not exist in a way it appeared to me. Just it does not exist in a way it appeared to me. Just keep your thought on that object, thinking like that. Okay. Okay, that he done. I am choosing Nico. If you do too much, you will fall asleep. You are just lost everything. Okay, that is it. That thing also means goal ma kari chawari. That so chi shene gom ta thing also just gom yin ba. So to summarize what we did today, at the beginning we meditated on calm abiding for a little while. Ani thini ta suju chi shawa lamro yo chet suju thewa yo sa lama dan sanje chundi de ngo yin min de ta ni. Ani suju. And then you requested for blessing, you know, to the <clears throat> the guru that one is devoted to, and the uh, the deities or the Buddhas, you know, to bless you to be able to do the practices like the seven limb practice and so forth well. 
And then you might also have a doubt in between, like, you know, whether I will get the blessings or not, what is the blessings and so forth, right? So if you develop that wish wanting to practice Dharma, wanting to wanting to be a good person, wanting to have a good thought, and that is the blessing. So in Tibetan culture, you know, we have uh, this tradition of lamas placing their hand or, or, or a piece of you know, holy object on the head of the people when they go to receive blessings. And then, so people think that is the blessing, but that's not the blessing. That's just the, the, the substance for blessing. But the blessing is when the person thinks that I've received the blessing. And then that gets, you know, that makes his mind uh, move, get moved. And then, then that is the real blessing. So we have to understand what the blessing is. The blessing is, like I said, is the, the mind that you know, wishes to uh, <clears throat> engage in a virtuous action. Yeah? So mm-hmm. through the, uh, the instruction of the guru you know, uh, and so forth, but when you come to you know, want to uh, engage in the virtuous action, then that thought you know, is the blessing. And then we went through the preparatory practice, you know, for developing bodhicitta, right? So for that, the preparation uh, is to contemplate on the small and the medium capable beings path. Which is like you know, uh, contemplating on bodies uh, and the uh, profit and rebirth, death and impermanence, coming law, cause and effect, disadvantage of the cyclic existence, and so forth. Right. And then, uh, then we went to the actual uh, uh, bodhicitta. So there are two bodhicittas, conventional, ultimate bodhicitta and conventional bodhicitta. The conventional bodhicitta is the mind that wishes to achieve enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings. And the way to develop that kind of bodhicitta in R2 uh, no one is uh, to uh, one is through the sevenfold cause and effect instruction, and other one is through um, equalizing and exchanging self with others. So there's two different way. You know, it's just different way to uh, develop the bodhicitta. But either way, you can develop bodhicitta. It's just like. <laughs> You know, uh, whichever way, you know, whichever uh, means you take, you know, uh, to reach uh, New York, you know, either you know, to, uh, go by train or bus or by car, uh, whichever way you want to go, you can go. But you know, the ultimate goal is to get to New York like that. That didn't really change the one I need to change some of the one I can't go to the one. And so then after having uh, trained uh, in these two parts, now when do you know uh, whether you have generated bodhicitta or not? It's like, you know, through having, uh, after having trained in this part, then when your mind gets moved, you know, uh, to benefit sentient beings, you know, then that is uh, when you have bodhicitta, trend, uh, I mean, when you have generated bodhicitta. You know, whether you uh, get, you know, moved you know, to benefit sentient beings or not, that depends on how well you have practiced, you know, the, these two methods. That's the 
And then also sometimes, you know, if you get a, 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 you know, tears running from your eyes or the goosebump in your body, and after hearing about uh, bodhicitta's benefit, you know, or uh, by seeing, you know, uh, <clears throat> a sentient beings you know, suffering, then that is a very uh, a good sign of having generated bodhicitta. And then uh, converting, you know, your, your, the unfortunate uh, uh, circumstances in, into a path to enlightenment. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, so if you are facing any difficulties, you know, don't may, you know, uh, let that uh, difficulty become uh, an obstacle to uh, uh, practice your path. But instead, you know, let you know, let um, you know, um, at least not make it bother you. And then if, 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 you know, and better, if you can make that, you know, <clears throat> uh, into a condition to develop even more or higher path. And for that, you can, you know, meditate on emptiness. Mm. And then, uh, and so then you have to apply this all this practice you know, into you know, like one lifetime practice, and that's like you're making commitments. I'm going to do this practice like that. Okay. Like that. Any questions? I don't think Gijela doesn't go go to more forward. Just always stuck same place. <laughs> because this is a. We need to like Nanzo Bena Karo, notice age, no notice age, Kolozo. Ya man deje japte and it lomas who gomchi and no mate by the young Tara de the academy looks so jerry. Tango Teda Camada Kaji Madonaco Nanzo patient the Zomazo Kishamba and Delatin and Nanzo Tate. What was your eye ten you get ten and got you which I do? So this is like an experiential. Um... Uh, teaching, experiential teaching, uh, where you teach something and then you, um, you know, practice on that until you get the experience. Uh, and that's that's like the way Kadamba masters will teach. You know? But of course, you know, I don't have experience and there's nothing you can gain from there, but it's similar to that. That's what I'm saying. So it is... So not uh, not important to you know complete it, but you know to gain more knowledge you know from it. So that's what I think. So anyway, um, in in the practice, you know, um, to be applied to your whole life, you know, you have to make a commitment, you know, to do this practice. And since from today, I'm going to do this, you know, like starting with the power of the determination, thinking that I'm going to do this, so I'm not going to do this. Like you have to make this commitment, you know, thinking that I'm not going to do this. You know. So like in the business, you, know, you also have that um, you know, <clears throat> uh, plan, right? You make a plan you know, to make this much money this year. What do you call that? Um, Budget? Hmm? Budget? Yeah. Right. Something like that, right? So you make a plan, you know. So okay, this year we're gonna make this much money, you know, and you if you don't, you know, if you if you don't make that much money, then you don't get raised or anything like that. You know, so you have to make that, you know. So that's like the determination. So yes, we're going to do this much, like that, you know, that kind of determination. So of course, in this case, you know, to do the practice of Dharma. <laughs> And so, like in the in the uh, whether it's in the business or in school, you know, they have this goal, you know, and and they you know uh, plan you know to achieve that goal, you know, before it started. And so you you will have you will be determined you know when you have that goal in your mind then you will be determined you know to uh, determined 
you know, to uh, uh, do the work, right? Until you achieve that goal. So that helps. Okay, that is it. Don't rotate. That pena teri mixege pena ngaraso pena suchag means the one pena namjung ngaraso pena seven two dey yawa na tenri ge suju ge seven two dey wa thara la tani te se dey da ko kali kala laan gude. The karche ni chuvar samu time bade seven two seven machi wa na seven machi wa thara kala samu thara kala tani te se dey da ko kono laan gude. So like sometime you know we get disturbed, right? Of course, a lot of time we get disturbed. So uh, when you get disturbed, you, know, you have this, you know, uh, something bothering your mind, right? And then think about that situation. The the thing about the bothering situation itself. You know, um, don't think about how to, to resolve that and you know what made that happen and all these things. Don't think about that. It will only increase it more. But just focus and you know, just keep your just put your mind on that uh, bothering situation, and then it will go away. The children they chocolate there. Who loves chocolate? <laughs> Tambo chole dala mikcha mikta den de te de da kama khaje de da ko chole samge mikta den ko te samu de shemai do sar ko shemai shemai the de che da ko ne de mewa sogo sun ko ro mar lela wosh ta kare khora ra kala sem ta ra shan de wai na ane sem tu de wa de ko khora to wai la do so just like that you know when you see like look at the chocolate and then you keep on looking and looking at chocolate and then after some time the chocolate will disappear. You know, it will, it will not have any mind and any, any more uh, thinking about the chocolate. So just like that, you know, when you, when that disturbance, you know, when there is a disturbance, then just think about it. Just put your mind on the disturbance, you know, but not thinking about how it came, how it can be you know, uh, get rid of, and so forth. Not thinking like that, but just put your mind on the disturbance itself, and then it will go away. Okay, this is a painkiller. Okay, this painkiller. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any questions? Any broken questions? Any images of questions? Yes, Stark, Scott. Thank you, Keshila. Um, I have a question about uh, calm abiding uh, and the obstacles of agitation or excitement versus torpor uh, or mental sinking. Um, is it possible uh, for a beginner to experience both of those regularly, or do we only experience agitation as beginners and then we deal with sinking later? So yeah, at the beginning, you know, for the beginners, it is very common, you know, to have that a lot, you know, uh, of the agitation and uh, uh, you know, um, uh, mental thinking, you know, a lot. Uh, so whichever comes strong, you know, then you apply antidote to that. So it's like you know you have a, a rat or a mouse you know in your house then uh, you say okay should I catch the rat first or a mouse first not like thinking like that but whichever comes you know to your house you, you just catch that and then throw that out. Yeah, so what I'm saying is that you should not you should not fall under the control of either ones. So so yeah, when you when when you're um, and focusing on the object, then it's very easy to uh, like get into the object and then not think about it you know and then just fall asleep that's called the mental thinking and uh, that can happen very easily you know people sometimes people say oh yeah you know i feel very good not thinking about anything it's no you have to think about something you have to you know bring your mind to the object not thinking about the object is not good either so the mental thinking you know kind of laziness right so feels lazy and then you feel drowsy and then you just you know go to like kind of sleepy mode and that's not good 
And so you have to always focus your mind on the, you know, on the, on the object, just like you know, when your mind will be very focused on a hot boiling tea, if you're holding that in your hand, your mind will be very focused on that to not spill it. If you spill it, it may fall on your hand. So you will be like very careful holding it and all the time, just like that, your mind has to be very focused on the object. It's like somebody, you know, walking on a rope, you know, some, some people then are like, what is this in the circus, right? People walking on the rope, you know, and even they do in the, you know, on the outside, you know, from one building to another building, you know, you have a rope tied and then people walk on the rope. So they have to be really focused at that time, right? Very alert and focused at that time. So it should be like, just like that. And so like just like when we're driving, you know, we're very alert, right? We are alert, you know, but when we are used to it, then we think we're not very alert. But we are alert, right? We're very uh, if anything comes, you know, we we understand very easily. You know? So if somebody's driving too fast towards you or coming very close to you, you understand, you realize that, you know. Because there's a, in the back of our mind, there's this mind alertness, you know, which is always watching, uh, seeing what is going on when, while, while we are driving. Okay. Okay, it's good in uh, anyway. Uh, don't think Gisela doesn't go, go forward, always something, it's, that's not something. This we need to something to, this very important place. We need something resort from here. Even I can talk, you know, I can talk also so many different ways because I can talk the book to, you know, that said that, here said that, Shadi Deva said that, Nagajuna, I can put the all different source there, but like for us, we all really have uh, an uh, interest to in Buddhism. We all really believe Buddhism and you don't need to so many sources. Most important, try to put into our practice. Therefore, try to every day a little bit. It's all like, you know, guiding meditation, you know, we try to like together that. Right now, this is the best time. Do you are your home? No one's bother you. If, if someone bothers you, just close your door. You know, we in the Gomba, you know, someone's stand up, someone's still, someone's a cough. You say, oh, I'm meditation. What's wrong with you? <laughs> then, you know, someone get up, go to bathroom, you know, maybe open the door, we always complain. I think this is the best. This is a week ago. So because of this uh, COVID-19, uh, people are all, you know, enclosed in the house, in the house. So because of that, now because of that pandemic, you know, you can use the situation to do more practice at home. And then later, when you come out, and because you're now you're in a well uh, practiced, you know, your mind is more maybe controlled. So when you come out later, you know you will not be affected that much by the environments outside. Okay, like that. Then, if you have no question, then we finish. Okay. Sanji perky jerk shing may talk trom re rab ning jing ni de gyan pa di sangye jing du ming te o wa gyi dro ko nam da jing la chur pa shuk jay tsun la me ko tse rab ten ching nam ka trin le chok chur gyi pa dan lo sang ten pe drin me sa sum gyi dro we mun sal ta tu ne gyur chik ye dam guru rab na man da la kam ir ya ta yami from my two collections, vast is space that I have amassed and worked with effort at this practice for a great length of time. May I become the chief leading Buddha for all those whose minds wisdom I is blinded by ignorance. Even if I do not reach this state, may I be held in you loving compassion for all my lives, Manjushri. May I find the best of complete faded paths of the teachings and may I please all the Buddhas by practicing. Using skillful means drawn by the strong force of compassion, may I clear the darkness from the minds of all beings with the points of the path as I have discerned them. May I uphold the Buddha's teachings for a very long time. With my heart going out with great compassion in whatever direction the most precious teachings have not yet spread or once spread or declined, may I reveal this treasure of happiness and aid. 
in the minds of those who wish for liberation, granted bounteous peace, and the Buddha's deeds be nourished for a long time. I even this graded course to enlightenment completed due to the wondrous virtuous conduct of the Buddhas and their children. May all human and non-human beings who eliminate adversity and make things conducive for practicing the excellent paths never be parted in any of their lives from the purest path praised by the Buddhas. Whenever someone makes an effort to act in accordance with the tenfold Mahayana virtuous practices, may they always be assisted by the mighty ones and may oceans of prosperity spread everywhere. In that snow mountain encircled land, source of every benefit and joy, may Lord Tenzin Gyatso Chen Reze remain in life till samsara's end. Savior, the snow and teachings and transmigratory beings who extensively clarifies the path to unifies emptiness and compassion. To the lotus in the hand, Lord Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be fulfilled. You who uphold the subduer's moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjana's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplishes magnificent prayers honoring the three jewels, Savior, myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. Through this virtue may I swiftly, having gained Guru Buddha's state, place each and every sentient being without exception in that state. Precious Supreme Bodhi mind, may it where unborn arise, and where born never decline, but increase forevermore. <laughs> Thank you, Geshe-la. Thank you, dom Thank you. A uh, lot of announcements to make. It's a busy calendar, so make sure you guys look online for details. But at four today, we have um, Guru Puja. And then a reminder that there's no class on Wednesday, but um, we are encouraged to do the meditation that uh, Geshe La guided us in last Wednesday of going through the Heart Sutra, slowly meditating. Um, so we'll do that um, ourselves on Wednesday. Then um, on Friday is uh, Lothar, so the, the Tibetan New Year starts and um, very important 15 days following that. At seven o'clock on Friday, um, Dr. Nick Rebush will um, be um, leading in a uh, sort of a commemoration of um, Lama Yeshi's life as uh, Losar marks this 37th year of uh, Lama's passing. So, um, and then on Saturday, uh, Marianne will be leading us at 10 o'clock in uh, recitation of the Golden Light Sutra. And um, yeah, lots going on. So definitely um, look at the calendar. But one thing also, there's a, a, an ex a, um, intensive Tara practice weekend coming up starting. Uh, it's the weekend of the 27th and the 28th. So details are on the calendar, more to come. And one-on-one uh, -on -one meetings after this. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Geshe-la. Thank you, Geshe-la. Thank you, Geshe-la. Thank you, 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 Thank you,